As a guide, my job is to navigate the complex natural world of the mountains and to lead my group through it, avoiding the highest hazards. The Tetons are iconic. They rise straight out of the Wyoming Plains. So there's just so much relief. This wilderness has really been the backdrop for my life. My name is Aham Moria, and I live here in Jackson. Working and, and guiding in these mountains, they're just the backdrop to the life that I share with my family. Time we spend outside together in the wilderness, camping, climbing, and just playing outside. As human beings, we are experiencing a time in which we're more and more disconnected from our natural habitat. Every generation inherits the world from the generation prior. I cannot imagine passing on a world where that opportunity isn't the same as it was for me. It's really been the last two to three years that I've experienced the most dramatic, game-changing effects of climate change and none more evident than this year. What's actually funding the destruction of the planet? It's we, it's ourselves. Because when we put our hard-earned money into our checking account, that's just the beginning. Since 2015, when the Paris Climate Agreement was signed, American banks, just like yours, have donated $1.2 trillion to the fossil fuel industry. This year in Jackson, the Federal Reserve has the opportunity to stop funding the fossil fuel industry and protect us all from the effects of climate change. Every year, officials from the Federal Reserve and big hotshot bankers gather in the Tetons for the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium. And during this event, officials set policy that has huge implications for the future of our economy and planet. The Federal Reserve is the referee of our economy. It has the legal authority to make fossil fuel investments less desirable and set limits on fossil fuel financing. Kai and my son Alyosha are about the same age, so I've watched Kai grow up from, I think, elementary school. Kai is just this young crusher, right? I mean, he's just such an incredible young athlete who has just shown what can be done in the mountains on skis and brings this very, very playful kind of approach. So it's just so natural for him to speak on behalf of them and to advocate for them as a member of this new generation it's like very humbling being in such like crazy serious mountain range. I think I owe like lots of respect to those mountains because everything they've taught me throughout the years and the amount of fun times I've had in them. My name is Kai Jones and I'm from Teton Valley, Idaho. Kai and myself and so many other people who live here have climbed mountains all of our life. But tomorrow we're climbing a mountain with a purpose. The plan for tomorrow is to do our part in advocating for the climate by going up and climbing Tiwanak Mountain. By waving the flag on the summit of Tiwanak, we're going to show people to invest in climate positive solutions. Feeling good, we got some fog, but uh, we looked at the webcams and I think we're going to get some blue skies up high and that's where we're going. The Cathedral Group is the epicenter of the Tetons and it's home to most of the last remaining glaciers. So it's a fitting place for us to spread this urgent message that it's time to make some change. As a guide, my job is to navigate the complex natural world of the mountains and to lead my group through it, avoiding the highest hazards. And really, that's the same role that these guys have at the Economic Symposium, but they have it for the entire world. The reality is that recycling and riding our bikes just isn't gonna cut it. We need global leaders to step up and enact policy change that's going to protect the future of the planet. Just going to take a little wander over to the summit. Oh, we're just super stoked to be out here on Tiwanot. We had a successful mission to the top and we hung the banner and um, hopefully we inspire people to do their part in helping this climate crisis.